Kumusta kayong lahat? Welcome sa Math Storya. Samahan nyo ako sa bago nating topic, the angle of elevation and the angle of depression. So for angle of elevation, when you see an object above you, there is an angle of elevation between the horizontal and your line of sight to that object. So if this is you and this one is the object, so therefore this is your line of sight. Then to find the angle of elevation, so that's between this horizontal and the line of sight. So this one is the angle of elevation. So we have this problem. The shadow of the building is 9.2 feet long. So this is the building and the shadow is 9.2 feet long. Then when the angle of elevation to the top of the building is 53 degrees, so this is the angle of elevation that's between the horizontal and the line of sight. So this one is 53 degrees. Then how high is the building? So this one is the unknown. So based from the given, so this is our angle and this side is the opposite and this side is the adjacent so we have opposite over the adjacent so we're going to use the tangent theta because tangent theta is opposite over the adjacent so to solve now for the height of the building since theta is equal to 53 degrees so we have tangent 53 degrees that's equal to the opposite, that's x, over the adjacent, that's 9.2. Then apply cross multiplication, so we have this over 1, then x times 1, this one is x, then 9.2 times tangent 53, so 9.2 times tangent 53 degrees. So to solve for x now, so x is equal, so we have 9.2 then times tangent 53, so x is equal to 12.21. So x is 12.21 feet. So this is now the height of the building. Then for this problem, so a man flies a kite with 75 foot string. So this is the kite and the length of the string, that's 75 feet. Then the angle of elevation to the string is 47 degrees. So again, angle of elevation, so between the horizontal and the line of sight. So this one is 47 degrees. Then how high of the ground is the kite? So this is the unknown, so the distance of the kite to the ground, this is x. So based from the given, if this is our angle, so this side is the opposite, and this side is the hypotenuse. So opposite over hypotenuse, that's sine theta. So sine theta is opposite over the hypotenuse. Then theta is equal to 47. So to solve now the distance of the kite to the ground, so we have sine 47 degrees equals the opposite. That's x over the hypotenuse, that's 75. So do cross multiplication over 1. So x times 1, this one is x, then equals that's 75 times sine 47 degrees. So to solve now for x, so x is equal to a 75 times sine 47. So x is 54.85. So we have x is 54.85. Feet. So this is now the distance of the kite to the ground. Then for this given, so a plane takes off 450 feet in front of 54 feet building. 
So this is the plane and the building. So the distance of the plane to the building, that's 450 feet. Then the height of the building, that's 54 feet. Then at what angle of elevation must the plane uh, take off in order to avoid crossing into the building? So the angle of elevation, this one is the unknown. So to solve for the angle, so since this is our angle, so this side is the opposite and this side is the adjacent. So opposite over adjacent, that's tangent theta. So tangent theta is opposite over adjacent. But since theta is the unknown, so to solve for the angle, so we have tangent theta is equal to opposite, that's 54, over the adjacent, that's 450. So to solve now for angle theta, so we have this uh, inverse tangent, then 54 over 450. So angle theta now is equal to, so we have this inverse tangent, so that's shift, then tangent, then open parenthesis, so 54 divide by 450, then close parenthesis, so theta is equal to 6.84 degrees. So theta is 6.84 degrees. So this is the angle of elevation of the plane. Then for the angle of depression, so when you see an object below you, so there is an angle of depression between the horizontal and your line of sight to that object. So if this is you, this is the object, and this one is the line of sight. So to find the angle of depression, so this is the horizontal and the line of sight. So this is the angle of depression. Then we have this problem. So from the observation tower, that's 19 meters high. So this is the observation tower, that's 19 meters high. Then the angle of depression to an object. So if this is an object, then we have this angle of depression. So again, angle of depression. So between this horizontal and the line of sight. So this is 27 degrees. Then how far from the foot of the tower is the object? So this is the unknown. So using the properties of transversal line that these alternate angles are congruent. So if this is 27 degrees, so this angle is also 27 degrees. So we're going to use this angle and this side is the opposite and this side is the adjacent. So opposite over adjacent, that's tangent theta. Then to solve now for x, since uh, theta is equal to 27 degrees, so we have now tangent 27 degrees is equal to opposite, that's 19, over the adjacent, that's x. Then do cross multiplication, so we have x times tangent 27 degrees equals, that's 19. So to solve for x, divide both sides by tangent 27 degrees, divide by tangent 27 degrees, so cancel. So x now is equal to, so we have this 19, then divide by tangent 27, that's 37.29. So x is equal to 37.29 meters. So this is now the distance from the foot of the tower to an object. Then for this problem, so a building is 170 feet tall. So this is the building that's 170 feet tall. Then on a particular day at noon, it casts a shadow, 215 foot shadow. 
So this is the shadow of the building. Then what is the sun angle of depression at that time? So this is the sun and the angle of depression. So angle of depression that's between the horizontal and the line of sight. So this is now our angle of depression. So since the uh, properties of transversal that the alternate angle are congruent, so if this is angle theta, so therefore this angle is also angle theta. So using this angle, this side is the opposite and this side is the adjacent. So opposite over adjacent, that's tangent theta. So to solve now for angle theta, so we have this uh, tangent angle theta is equal to opposite, that's 170 over the adjacent, that's 215. Then uh, theta now is equal to the inverse tangent of 170 over 215. So angle theta now is equal to, so we have shift tangent, so that's inverse tangent in open parenthesis, 170 divided by 215 in close parenthesis, that's 38.33. So angle theta is equal to 38.33 degrees. So this is now the angle of depression of the sun. Then for this problem, so a pilot is looking at an airport from his plane. So this is the pilot and this is the plane. Then the angle of depression is 31 degrees. So if the altitude of the plane is 85,000 feet, then approximately how far is the plane from the airport? So therefore, this one is the unknown, the distance of the plane to the airport. So if this is the ground, then using the properties of transversal line that the alternate angle are congruent. So if this one is 31 degrees, so this one is also 31 degrees. So using this angle, so this side is the opposite and this side is the hypotenuse. So opposite over hypotenuse, that sine theta. And to solve now for the distance of the plane to the airport, and theta is equal to 31 degrees. So we have sine 31 degrees, that's equal to the opposite, that's 85,000 over x. Then cross multiplication, so we have now x times sine 31 degrees equals 85,000 then divide both sides by sine 31 degrees so sine 31 degrees so cancel so x now is equal to so we have this 85,000 divide by sine 31 degrees that's 165,036.34. So x is 165,036.34 feet. So this is now the distance of the plane to the airport.